This is the uh, end of the roof, the number one end, and there are screws here which replace the nails because the nails just wouldn't have pulled this down and made everything pull up tight. These boards were uh, had raised up and so everything was screwed down. The roof is covered with a lightweight canvas. I think this is a number 10 white duck, natural duck. Notice there's no paint on this side and there is some paint on this side. Uh, they used the, the higher the number, the lighter the weight, and we prefer to use number eight, which was the standard. Uh, I don't know why the, this was used. I think maybe at the time this was done, 50 years ago or so, it was uh, the only thing that they could get. Uh, the problem with the uh, heavier weight stuff is they don't make it in a full range of widths and we may have to seam it down the middle and get to, I think it'll be about, well I can tell you exactly how long it will be. I think it'll be five feet. Let's see how correct I am. Yep, so we'll use two five foot pieces with a slight overlap in the middle and overlap on the sides. Uh, the canvas is painted originally with a white lead paint, but this since we put this on, that's not what's here. And it was some kind of a graphited uh, paint that we were experimenting with at the time. We don't really know what the color was, but we're going to assume it was some kind of a red or it could have been black. Uh, we, we just don't know. Um, but this is no good as you can see and we're going to tear that off. Um, we are doing something different now because our cars sit so long outside. Uh, we're going to use a stain which is a thinner paint and it will soak through so that there, they will not have a raw underside. Now this didn't rot, but we have had trouble with water getting in and rotting the canvas because the other side is unprotected. The um, roof itself is a little bit heavier on this car. The, the wood is thicker than it is on most cars. It's about a three-quarter or seven-eighths inch tongue and groove. And the kind of wood, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's a I think it's a southern pine or a fir, and um, some of it's good and some of it's not. But what we're going to do is after we take the trolley boards off and the canvas off, then we'll brush it off and see how smooth it is. And uh, some of the pieces, like over behind me here, I think, uh, you really can't, you can't see it. There were some patches. Uh, this is where the smoke pipe came out, and for some reason, Seashore patched it up because they didn't at that time think they were going to put a stove back in, but we are in this because it was in there right up until the locomotive stopped operation. You can see down the other end we've started sanding, and what we will do, we'll sand the whole roof down and renail it first, and then sand it down so that it uh, doesn't show the boards when it's, uh, when it's all done. Over on the other side, the car is left. You can see how that uh, narrow stretch along the edge was done. The roof now, all the way around, has a new tack molding, so there'll be a good place to uh, nail the canvas down. And then over that, after the canvas is down, there'll be a half round molding, which we have yet to make. Uh, so I guess that's.